So today I'm going to be teaching you how to tie a saddle hackle plus my courtesy of my dog Loki hair dry fly. So I started off the process by tying the thread around my saddle hackle on the uh, base of my hook. So what we're going to be doing right now is we're going to be applying the hair. I start off by just wrapping away. Just like just keep going. And this fly right here is used to catch uh, brown trout, rainbow trout, brook trout, and those types of trout. So I will be wrapping this and I will be tying a knot right about at the point where the hair starts to jet up, right about there. So, I'm gonna take this, we're gonna loop it over, and then we are going to just simply pull it through. with my trusty tweezers. Okay, so yeah, it's very intricate work. You need to be, have very steady hands and be able to, to be able to complete your task. So, so we have that. We are just about ready to move on to the final stage of tying this fly. So, sorry for the uh, slight silence, that just takes a lot of work, and um, it may be easy for you to watch how I tie it, and you might be able to learn how to tie from how I tie. So... Boom, there we go. We have that. So, the final part of this, the final act, you could say, is getting this trimmed up. And luckily, we have these. We have our intricate snipping scissors. So, you're just gonna wanna work around the fly, kinda get stray hairs, that just kind of look a little bit out of place and keep keep some hairs up at the top um forgot to point that out but you just gonna want to snip away with your snippers and by the way you can get this kit um this tie flying kit um skip morris at um most uh sporting good retailers but anywho we will, I think it's very, I think it's a very good investment if you want to get into tying flies, perfect way to start. Has a book where it tells you how to tie them and teaches you. And this one is just a freehand fly. So you're going to want to keep just snipping away and when you are ready, you take your head cement and you dab it just about at that point right there you're gonna want to let it soak through and it will dry in about mm, two hours but this is the finished product um, very 
intricate fly, very good for early spring. And there you have it, the Loki's Saddle Hackle Dry Fly.